everybody. I'm Tom Vassell, and welcome to Week in Review. Week in Review is a show that we do weekly where we talk about all the reviews we did the past week. We give you a short summary of them, and then you're like, hey, I want to know more about that game. Then you can click the link in the description below. Here's Z. Let's get started. Hey, hey, everybody. Z Garcia here. So last week, I put out a little overview of four different expansions to Omen, A Reign of War. Let me talk about those. I didn't rate these. I liked them all pretty much. But if I had to give you a breakdown of them, I'd say Omen, Edge of the Aegean. That's my favorite. I'd say pick that one up first after the base game. I also liked Omen, Fires in the East. Omens, uh, or Omen, Tales of the Ancients. It's also a good one that focuses on other aspects of the game. And then the one I would say buy last for collectors only, the weirdest one of the four, is Omen, Gifts of the Gods. That's the only one I was a little iffy on. The other ones are all good. I would definitely recommend them. Check out, of course, my review for the base game, which I did the previous week. Week, And then I reviewed Deckscape, The Curse of the Sphinx. This is a, an escape room sty uh, style card game from the Deckscape line. And I thought it was my least favorite of the ones I've played so far. I had a couple of issues with it. I rate this one a 6 out of 10, whereas all the other ones I've rated a little bit higher. And this one, my issue with it was it mixed puzzle solving and the things I'm hoping for and enjoy observation, things like that, with annoying things like memory and, uh, you know, dexterity things like flipping cards and stuff like that. So I found it kind of annoying overall. I'd recommend the line, but start with some of the other ones. And that's it for me. I will see you on the next one. Hey folks, welcome back to another Week in Review. I uh, did three videos for you this week. The first one was a uh, review for Storm Vault. Uh, this is a game that's being put out by Games Workshop in their Barnes & Noble exclusive line. And uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, it's basically just a roll and move. Uh, go around exploring these different parts of the board, uh, trying to find some gateway shards, take those gateway shards to the thing, and do that before some of these other things in the game work. Uh, it's very uh, basic. Um, I enjoyed it, but I only gave it a 6 out of 10. You can go check out the review for more there. Also did a review for Judge Dread Helter Skelter. This is a new game from Osprey that's built upon the Wildlands engine. Uh, so uh, you're basically taking your factions, you're, you're playing Wildlands, where you're trying to gather your uh, fragments of reality and or knock other characters out. First person to get five points wins. Go check out the review for more details there, but I uh, gave that one an eight out of ten. I really did enjoy it. I thought the the, the different factions that are involved from uh, the 2000 AD uh, comic book company works well, and I enjoyed it. It's not heavily thematic, but it's fun. Also did a first impressions video for uh, the Quacks of Quedlinburg. I hadn't played it before, and uh, Tom kind of threw me in the deep end, and we played uh, the base game with uh, the new expansion, the the Herb Witches or something to that effect. Um, and uh, so you can check that out to see what my first impressions are. That's it for me this week. I'll see you guys and gals on the flip side. Take care. Okay, so for me, first of all, there's High Risk, uh, which is a push-your-luck style game from Yellow. Just was really, really boring. Didn't find much in here. It's the same as many other dice games that i played before with minor variations. This was a big pass for me. Towers of Amharb, also a pass for me. This looked really cool, moving tower pieces back and forth, but at the end of the day, it was really kind of a boring area majority control. Cthulhu theme in there pretty much for no reason at all. Just a big miss. Deep Blue. I thought I would really like this one, but unfortunately, it's a push your luck style game from Days of Wonder with gorgeous components and everything. But at the end of the day, someone else is pushing my luck, and that makes me not really enjoy the game that much. We rate dogs. Ah, cute dogs in this game. But at the end of the day, it's just a push, it's just a take that style game where you play good cards in yourself and bad cards in other people. Die Hard, the Nakatomi Heist board game. This is Die Hard, the board game, for sure. The theme is strong, really cool mechanisms. The whole thing is good. It's just that repeat value isn't that great. So it's fun to play once. I don't know how many times you want to play after that. I took a look at the expansion, the first expansion for War Chest Nobility. Add some support characters, upgrades a few pieces, and happily fits in the base game. I also took a look at the new standalone Ascension Skulls and Sails. This is a pirate themed Ascension set. 
I took a look at the expansion for Marvel Legendary Revelations. Their first big small one has Scarlet Witch, Quicksilver, War Machine, um, The Hood, a lot of cool new special abilities uh, along with the, the super speed and um, the stand, uh, what's it, last stand me mechanisms and locations. Some cool new stuff in here. Las Vegas Royale. This is the updated version of Las Vegas. Uh, a dice chucking game. This is a nicer version of it. Really, I have so much fun playing this. I like Las Vegas. You know, when I first played it, and this is a game that gets better for me every time. My favorite game of the week was Awkward Guests. This deduction game in which you're trying to figure out who done it. This is the Clue, the way it should be done. It is fantastic. My favorite deduction game. Well, I also talked about my top 10 deluxe games, big versions of games, my top 10 pizza games, and all three of us took a look at our top 10 horror games. We did a live play of Moonrakers, a live board game breakfast, and several other things that you can check out on our channel, and many other things. Until next time, though, I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching Look Back on the Dice Tower.